Geometry Challenge Set 10 Chebat Theorem Okay, let me explain to you what this theorem is about. You take an arbitrary point in the middle and you connect from corner to this point and the corner to this point and the corner to this point. So, this doesn't divide, this point doesn't divide uh, the segment AC into two equal lengths because X is arbitrary. So it's not like the uh, previous geometry challenge questions that we don't use a bisecting midpoint. We take arbitrary, arbitrary point. Now, we look at the lengths AE and EB. We take the ratio and we also take a ratio BF and FC. And we take a ratio CD and DA. We multiply them together, it becomes one. So that's the Chebat theorem. So how do we prove this? Okay. So what we do is we measure the height of this triangle. Okay. We extend this parallel to this and drop down orthogonal line. We extend, we use this line to drop the orthogonal line. Okay, so what happened is the we proved that this triangle is similar to this. Both are right triangle right so the <coughs> since this line is parallel this these lines are also parallel and that means this angle is the same so they are similar triangle that means this ratio AE to EB is same as the area of this triangle CAX. Two area of this triangle CBX because two triangles share the same bottom and the height is a ratio. So this ratio is the ratio of the area CAX. Let me use a different color. CAX and CBX. Right? Okay. So same way BF over FC is going to be triangle uh, CAX this triangle and ABX and this segment ratio CD over DA equals triangle um, let's see, different color. This triangle's area ratio, which is CVX to ABX. Okay, so we multiply this three ratio together then um, let's see this CVX 
we multiply this together this is gonna cancel out right and let's see a c a x okay b f this ratio is a b x this is opposite a b x and c a x so this c a x is cancelled out a b x is going to cancel out so you multiply this three term together ratio together becomes one okay that's the proof so we go by area ratio and if you multiply area ratio three of them they all cancel out to be one so that's Cheva's theorem so we take an arbitrary point in the middle of triangle and you you connect from corner to that point and define the intersecting point the ratio you multiply all together become one now the challenge is can you do same thing if you take this arbitrary point outside of a triangle okay so that's your homework but uh, this Cheva theorem is proven in this process I hope you enjoyed this video. So please check out the videos and if you like, subscribe.